today's adventure starts at the little castle. The Royal Fairy Picnic. This is a perfect day for a Royal Fairy Picnic. Good idea, Queen Thistle. Hooray! I love picnics. Nanny Plum, prepare the Royal Picnic Basket. Yes, Your Majesty. And will we be having magic jelly for pudding? Uh, maybe we should give the magic jelly a miss this year. But we always have magic jelly at the Royal Picnic. Well, if you promise not to flood the entire kingdom with jelly like last year... Trust me, Your Majesty. Nothing will go wrong this time. Mummy, can Ben come on the picnic? But Holly, Ben is an elf. And this is a royal fairy picnic. Please, can Ben come? He's my best friend. Well, I suppose, as he's your best friend. Hooray! I'll ring him. Hello, Mrs Elf speaking. Hello, Mrs Elf. Can I speak to Ben, please? Righto. Ben, it's Princess Holly. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Would you like to come on the Royal Fairy Picnic today? Yes, please. Good. Come to the castle as quick as you can. <coughs> Mum, I've been invited on the Royal Fairy Picnic. How lovely. You'll need plenty of food so you have enough to share. What would you like? Um, pies, cheese and some fruit, please. I'll put in a whole strawberry. Then you'll have enough for everyone. Thanks, Mum. Bye. See you later. Look, everyone. It's Ben. <gasps> Hello, everyone. Oh, oh, this should be fun. We've never had an elf on our royal picnic before. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me. That looks heavy. Can I help you carry it? Oh, thanks, Ben. Oh, but it's really light. It's a magic basket. Uh, don't worry, Ben. You'll see. <laughs> Look, it's Gaston the ladybird. Hi, Gaston. Daddy, can Gaston join our picnic? Hmm, I'm not sure. What did he say? Nanny Plum can speak ladybird language. Gaston says he would like the pleasure of joining Princess Holly and Ben Elf on the Royal Fairy Picnic, Your Majesty. Very well. It's just a pity he's a bit smelly. <laughs> Nanny Plum, can you translate that? Yes, I can, but I'd rather not. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, the royal picnic spot. Hooray! <laughs> What's this? It's food for the picnic. You mean you actually bring food with you to a picnic? Uh, yes. It's probably some strange elf custom, Your Majesty. Oh, ho, ho. how charming. I've got plenty of food for everyone. Thanks, Ben. But fairies don't eat elf food. We have our own special fairy food. Here it is. Oh, but the basket is empty. You've forgotten your food. <laughs> <laughs> Silly Ben. It isn't empty. It's a magic picnic basket. It can give us anything we want. Let's start with the drinks. I feel like some sparkling fairy juice. Magic basket oh so old. Let's have fairy juice, sparkling and cold. Wow! Oh, yes, young elf. It is rather impressive. Ben, perhaps you would like to choose the drinks for the children. It can be anything you like. Anything? Can I really ask for anything? Yes, anything at all. Hmm, OK. Lemonade, please. Isn't that a bit boring and ordinary? Elves like lemonade. And I'm an elf. <laughs> but, Ben, you can have 
anything you like in the whole wide world. In that case, lemonade with a dollop of ice cream. Are you sure you wouldn't like something more exotic? OK, lemonade with two dollops of ice cream. <laughs> Good choice, Ben. Magic basket, please. Lemonade with lots of ice cream. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Holly. <laughs> Don't forget Gaston. Hmm. What do ladybirds like to drink? <laughs> they like smelly things. That's right. By a ladybird's growl, may the next drink be foul. <laughs> Ugh. Nanny, you've made it too stinky, even from Gaston. Nonsense! Ladybirds love rotten cabbage juice. Now for the main course. Magic basket, please. Make us sandwiches with ham and cheese. Ooh. And now for pudding. Hooray! Magic jelly! Uh, Nanny Plum, please don't make too much this time. We don't want a repeat of last year's jelly flood. What happened? Holly, Daisy and Poppy always help me make the pudding. But last year we made a bit too much and we... Flooded the whole kingdom with jelly. <laughs> I remember the jelly flood. Was that you? <laughs> yes, that was us. It was rather spectacular. <laughs> but it's not going to happen again, is it, Nanny Plum? Don't worry, Your Majesty. We've been practising safe new words that keeps the quantity down. Come along, girls. Can I help too? Yes, Ben. Children, repeat after me. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly. But not a lot. Magic basket, please. Jelly, 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 but not a lot. Hooray! Oh, they're a bit small. They are quite little, aren't they? Yes, we'll need more. OK, let's try this. Basket, basket, more, more, more. Basket, basket, more, more, more. Phew! For a moment there, I thought we were going to have another jelly flood. <laughs> jelly flood! Jelly flood! Jelly flood! Flood! Whoa! Jelly flood! <laughs> Nanny, there's too much jelly. Stop it, Nanny! Shazam, shazing! Magic pudding! Shrink, shrink, shrink! Nanny, try a stronger spell. I could use the stop magic spell, but that's only for royal emergencies. I declare this a royal emergency. Thunder and lightning, north wind blow. Magic spells, away you go. <laughs> it worked. Hooray! Hooray! Nanny, where's our food? Sorry, I had to stop all the magic, and that included our magic picnic. That's strange. My food is still here. That's because it wasn't made by magic. And luckily, I've enough for everyone. Thank you, Ben. But Nanny, you said fairies don't eat elf food. Uh, yes. Thank you for reminding me, Princess Holly. We can have a nice time without a picnic. Let's sit and enjoy the view. Mmm, yummy. I'm a bit hungry. Me too. Hmm, I don't believe I've ever eaten elf food before. Would you like to try some, King Thistle? Oh, thank you, Ben. Yum, yum. Mmm, elf food is delicious. It really is. Nanny Plum, you must try some. Oh, very well, Your Majesty, seeing as it's a royal command. And here's another royal command. When you have a fairy picnic, 
always take an elf. <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Mrs. Fig's Magic School. Good morning, Your Majesties. Good morning, Nanny Plum. Princess Holly would like to show you how well she is doing with her magic. Yes, I would. That's lovely, sweetie. She will now cast a spell for you. It's not magic jelly, is it? No, no. Not magic jelly. You can choose. What would you like best in the whole wide world? Could you make me something pretty? OK. Abracadabity-bobbity-boo! <laughs> What is it? It seems to be a box of burps, Your Majesty. No! That's disgusting! Sorry, Daddy. I think it's about time Holly had some proper magic lessons. Very good, Your Majesty. I'll just fetch my wand. No, Nanny Plum. I mean proper lessons at a proper school. School? Yes. Holly is old enough to go to Mrs Fig's magic school. Ooh, Mrs Fig's magic school. I went there when I was little. It sounds fun. Can my friends come as well? Of course. Violet, Rosie, Strawberry and Fleur can go to magic school too. Can Ben come along? Oh, remember Ben is an elf and elves don't like magic. Ben will most likely be at elf school today. Good morning, children. Good morning, wise old elf. This morning's lesson is called Why Elves Don't Do Magic. Who can tell me why elves don't do magic? Because we're elves. <coughs> yes, Ben. But can anyone tell me why we don't do magic? Because we're elves. <coughs> yes, yes, I know. But why don't we? Is it because... Magic always leads to trouble. Yes, Jake. Magic always leads to trouble. This way, girls. And talking of trouble... Hello, wise old elf. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. We're going to magic school. Ooh, can we go to the magic school too, wise old elf? No, I forbid it. Oh, please, wise old elf. Please, please. please. Oh, very well. Today's lesson will be to see how magic <laughs> always leads to trouble. This way to the magic school. Ah, magic school. I suppose it'll all be pink and fluffy and covered in glitter. That sounds nice. Here we are, Mrs Fig's magic school. Oh, what a sensible building. It could have been built by an elf. I know. It's a bit ugly, isn't it? It's very sensible. Now, girls and boys, you'll soon be meeting Mrs Fig. She taught me everything I know. Ooh. Mrs Fig liked me. I used to call her Old Figgy. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, children. Morning, morning Old Figgy. Figgy. My name is Mrs Fig. Morning, Mrs Fig. Fig. That's better. Hello, Figgy. Remember me? Ah, Nanny Plum. How could I forget? I told you I was her best pupil. In all my years of teaching, Nanny Plum, I never had another pupil like you. Thank you. And I am the wise old elf. <laughs> Elves? At magic school? Yes, we're here to see the magic all go wrong. Nothing will go wrong at Mrs Fig's magic school. Now, who do we have here? I'm Princess Holly. Princess Holly, what do you and your little friends know about magic? Oh, I've taught them lots of things. Let's say you know nothing. Now, what's the most important rule of magic? Don't do magic. Correct. What? But where's the fun in that? Magic is not meant to be fun. Oh, ho, ho. I like this lesson. Magic is only meant to be used for sensible things by sensible people. Now, pretend you are in the kitchen doing the washing up. Are you going to wash the dirty dishes using magic? Yes. Stop. That's just the sort of thing you can do by hand. What? what? That's just plain wrong. But 
If you come across a particularly stubborn stain on a saucepan, then perhaps you could... Use magic! Leave it to soak overnight. Why not just magic the whole lot clean and get on with something fun? I am the teacher, Nene Plum. Sorry, Figgy. And now for the magic lesson. Hooray! First, we have to warm up. Let's start with a little jog. No, not the jogging. Outside, chop, chop. Run around, everyone. What does running have to do with magic? Nothing. It builds character. I don't need any more character, thank you. Are you all having fun? Yes! Right, stop. Jogging is not meant to be fun. <sighs> Now, who would like to show me their favourite spell? Me! Anyone else? I can do a growing spell. Very good. Show us your growing spell, please. OK. Bappity boppity bow. Grow, grow, grow! Ah! Not me! <laughs> She's just growing and growing. Stop it! Stop it! I know how to do growing. But not stopping. That's easy. Stop, Figgy, stop. And who taught you that growing spell? Me. I might have known. Well, it did work. You grew a lot. I know a spell to make things smaller. Wait, don't. Dibbly, dobbly, do. Small, small, small. Ah! Ah! Mrs Fig is still shrinking. Help! Help! She's getting teenier and teenier. She's never going to stop shrinking. Help! Help! Oh, I'd better grow her again. Figgy, figgy, fig. Back to big. How are you feeling? I am very, very, very angry. So, as you see, children, Magic always leads to trouble. They were two very silly spells. Can anyone think of a useful spell? Magic jelly! Magic jelly? Yes, that's very useful. Well, I suppose magic jelly has its uses. Like at a children's party. Or a picnic. Or as a yummy pudding. OK, magic jelly. But let's get someone sensible to wave the wand. Me, me, me! I'll do it! Who is the most sensible person here? The wise old elf. The wise old elf shall wave the wand. Me? But I'm not a fairy. I don't do magic. Exactly. The perfect person. Oh, I don't think so. No, <laughs> It wouldn't be right. Nonsense! We just need a bit of fairy dust. You are now magical! My body is all tingly. I don't like it. Don't worry. You won't be magical for very long. Just wave the wand and say, Jelly, jelly, but not a lot. Uh, jelly, jelly, but not a lot. <gasps> oh! oh! It worked! Can I turn Nanny Plum into a frog? Ha! I'd like to see you try. I say, this is fun. Oh, what happened? <laughs> Wise old elf, what are you doing? Having fun. Magic is not meant to be fun. What would happen if I asked for a lot of jelly? Try it and see. Jelly, jelly, jelly. And lots of it. No, stop. We don't want a jelly flag. <laughs> Plum. It wasn't me. It was him. That's ridiculous. Elves don't do magic. Actually, Your Majesty, it was the wise old elf. Even old Figgy telling tales now. It's true. The wise old elf did it. Oh, dear. I believe I did do the spell. Fancy that. The wise old elf doing magic. <laughs> you have been naughty. 
Yes, and it just goes to show that magic always leads to trouble. Today's adventure starts at Gaston's cave. Gaston the ladybird. <laughs> Gaston! Are you coming out to play? <laughs> Gaston! <laughs> Come on, let's fly! <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait for us! Come on, Gaston! Giddy up, giddy up! <laughs> Yee <-haw>! <laughs> <laughs> Can't catch me! <laughs> yes, we can! <laughs> Again tomorrow. Yes. <coughs> ben, bedtime. Oh, that's my mum. Bye, Ben. Bye, Gaston. Bye, Holly. Bye, Gaston. See you tomorrow. hasn't turned up yet. Oh, let's go and find him. OK. Gaston, are you coming out to play? Gaston! Gaston's not answering. Oh. Maybe we've upset him. But we have such fun together. Yes, <laughs> like when I tip him over and he wiggles his feet. And when I ride on his back. <laughs> <laughs> but do you think Gaston enjoys it? Hmm, perhaps he doesn't. Maybe Gaston's sad. And that's why he won't come out to play. Oh, dear. What can we do? Nanny Plum will know what to do. She knows everything about ladybirds. Good idea. Dum, da, dum, dum, da, ti, da. Da, 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 dum, da, ti, da, ti. Nanny Plum, Gaston the ladybird is not happy. Hmm... Ladybirds are never happy. But Gaston is our best friend. Can you do something? Please, please Nanny Plum, Plum please. please. Oh, all right. I'll see what I can do. Thanks, Nanny. <laughs> the 
This is Gaston's cave. And what sort of insect is Gaston? He's a ladybird. Oh, yes. Now, let's think. What's ladybird for hello? Hmm. Oh, look. The door's open. We'd better take a look inside. Gaston's not here. He's gone off somewhere to be sad. Ugh. No wonder Gaston is sad. No one could be happy in such a messy, smelly cave. Chop, chop. We need to clean this cave up before the ladybird returns. Yes, that will be a nice surprise. And Gaston will be happy again. <laughs> First, we need my cleaning things. Abracadee, abracadop, brushes, dusters, soap and mop. Holly, you dust the cobwebs. Yes, Nanny Plum. Ben, you clean the floor. Yes, Nanny Plum. And I will tackle the bed. <laughs> this bed is filthy. And look at all this stuff. Old food, comics, lollipops, smelly socks. Ugh. Bish, bash, bash. Dust on the bed, nice and fresh. Good. Now just a final polish and we're done. to cheer you up. We don't like it when you're sad. Thank We're really sorry about rolling you over. And riding on your back. <coughs> What's he saying, Nanny? <coughs> Ooh. Gaston says he likes it when you roll him over and ride on his back. Oh. <coughs> Gaston is not sad. In fact, he's very happy. <coughs> Well, you're going to be even happier now. Take a look at your cave. <laughs> Gaston! <laughs> As I said, ladybirds are never happy. Gaston, what's wrong? <laughs> oh, dear. Nanny, what did he say? He said he loved his home just as it was. All messy and smelly. Oh, sorry, Gaston. Don't worry, we'll make it just the way you like it. Yes, <laughs> we're very good at making things messy. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun! Key, a cobweb here, a cobweb there. Brilliant! Zip zap zessy, Gaston's bed, nice and messy. <laughs> Smelly socks and lollipops. <laughs> Good. Now just a final layer of dirt and we're done. Well done, everybody. That smells just as bad as it did before. Hooray! And if you ever want us to make your cave untidy again, Gaston, don't be afraid to ask. Yes, that's what friends are for. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Hey, wait for us. <laughs> Come on, Gaston. Giddy up, giddy up. <laughs> Can't catch me. Yes, we can. <laughs> Gaston. <laughs> Today's adventure starts 
at the little castle. Daisy and Poppy's playgroup. Bang! 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 Ah, Daisy! Poppy! Bang! Bang! Daisy! Poppy! Don't do that! Bang! Bang! <laughs> What's all the noise? Mummy, the twins are being naughty. Shouldn't they be at playgroup? There hasn't been any playgroup for weeks now. Really? Why not? The problem was all the toddlers were together in one place. Isn't that the idea of a playgroup? Well, yes, but just think. There was Raspberry. Even her wand is rude. <laughs> and Nettle. She has a stinging nettle in her hat. And Tarquin. Tarquin likes playgroup. <laughs> and Daisy and Poppy. <laughs> <laughs> All together, they're quite a handful. What happened to their nice teacher, Mrs. Fotheringill? Good morning, children. My name is Mrs. Fotheringill. They made her disappear. Disappear? All they found was her shoes. Now, no one wants to be the teacher, and the nursery is closed. What a lot of fuss about nothing. I know. I'll be the playgroup teacher, and Nanny Plum can be my assistant. Oh, uh, um, I'd like to be, but I'm really very busy. I'll call my friend Mrs Elf, then. She can be my assistant. Hello? Mrs Elf speaking. Hello? It's Queen Thistle. Oh, Your Majesty. I wonder if you'd be interested in a new job. A job? Yes. You'd be working with me. That would be an honour, Queen Thistle. As assistant teacher at the playgroup. Hello? Hello? Oh, the phone must be broken. Still, she sounds very keen. I'll go round and fetch her. Are you sure you want to be the teacher, Mummy? The toddlers can be very naughty. No problem. I'll have Mrs Elf to help me. Hello? Is Mrs Elf there? Uh, sorry, but Mrs Elf had to go away suddenly. She is not here. Oh, hello, Mum. Oh, hello. I just got back. Perfect. Daisy and Poppy are so... So oh, pleased you're going to help at playgroup. <laughs> well, as long as it's just Daisy and Poppy. Oh, no. It will be all their friends as well. Lovely. Oh, it's locked. What a shame. No playgroup. Don't worry, Mrs Elf. I have the key. Lovely. A quick tidy and we'll soon have it ship shape. Oh, look. Mrs Fotheringill's shoes. Where did she go? No one knows. She just... Disappeared. Come along. The toddlers will be here in a minute. We heard playgroups reopening. We didn't quite believe it, though. So what poor person is the new teacher? Ah, uh, me, actually. And I'm the assistant teacher. Tarquin's been really missing, playgroup. Tarquin like playgroup. So is Raspberry. <laughs> and Nettle. <laughs> Come in, children. Oh, she stung me. <laughs> Hello, I'm your new nursery teacher and this is my assistant, Mrs... Oh, she's hiding under the desk. Uh, hello, children. I'm Mrs Elf. Relax, Mrs Elf. There's nothing to worry about with me in charge. Now, children, let's... <laughs> they've made the Queen disappear. All they've left is her panties. Children, what have you done with the Queen? Gone. All gone. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Oh, Queen Thistle. The toddlers have magicked me somewhere, but I'll be back as soon as I've worked out where I am. You'll have to take the class until I get back. Oh, OK. Bye. Mrs Elf, you're the teacher now. Yes. Don't panic, Mrs Elf. You can do this. You're in charge. Uh, maybe we should take away their wands. Good idea, Ben. Right, everyone. We are going to play a game. It's called Hide the Wands. We'll take the wands and hide them in this drawer. Good. Now, let's draw a lovely picture. What shall we draw? Butterflies? 
bunny rabbits. Dinosaurs. Tarquin like dinosaurs. Oh, OK. Big teeth. <laughs> Good. Now use your imaginations. Let's all close our eyes and imagine what it would be like in the time of the dinosaurs. Uh, are you sure this is a good idea? It's keeping them happy and quiet. Imagine the fiery volcanoes and thick jungle and dinosaurs. Pretend you're really there. What was that? I think the school moved. Daisy, Poppy... Did you just do something? It's all right, Holly. They're being very good. And it's nearly home time. How lovely and quiet. Why is it so different today? It's time to pick up the twins. Ah, the twins. That's why it's quiet. Right, Nanny. I'm on my way. Hello. Have you come to pick up your toddlers? Yes. yes. Ah, where's the playgroup? It's, it's gone. gone. Wow. Last time, the toddlers just made the teacher disappear. This time, it's the whole school. Home time. Phew. Well done, Mrs Elf. That wasn't too bad. Apart from the Queen disappearing. Oh, yes, the Queen. <laughs> <laughs> See you next time, children. Don't run. Oh, my goodness. Daisy, Poppy, where have you sent us? Dinosaur, dinosaur. Us back in time to the land of the dinosaurs. How are we going to get home again? Let's not panic. There's an answer to everything. OK, we're stuck in the land of the dinosaurs. 65 million years in the past. So what's the answer? I'm thinking. I have an idea. I might be able to magic the school back. It's worth a try. Abracadabra! The main thing is not to panic. Ah! The school's gone. Shall we start panicking now, Mum? Yes. It's the school. Hooray! Welcome back, everybody. Oh, there's no one here. Trapped in the land of the dinosaurs with no way back. Don't worry, there must be an answer. Think, Mrs Elf, think. What's that? Is it a dinosaur? I'm not sure. <laughs> it's a cave woman. <laughs> shoes, shoes. Wait a minute. It's Mrs. Fotheringill. The lost teacher. I've been stuck here for ages. Thank goodness you finally come to rescue me. Well, we sort of need rescuing ourselves, actually. Oh. If only Mummy was here. Yes. The Queen could magic us home. But the Queen is here. I saw her this morning. Hooray! But she was carried off by one of those pterodactyle things. <coughs> leaving just her wand and her cell phone. Mrs Fotheringill, do you know where the pterodactyls live? They live on Scary Mountain. I could take you there if you want. All right. Come on, children. Hold hands. Stay together. Mrs Fotheringill, why is it called Scary Mountain? Oh, I see. <coughs> Look, the Queen! Hello, everyone. Mummy, are you all right? Yes, but I'm trapped. It won't lift up its foot. <coughs> I'll climb up and tickle the pterodactyl. Elves are good at tickling pterodactyls, and I'm an elf. Careful, Ben. Tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> tickle, tickle. <laughs> Hooray! Here's your wand, Mummy. Thank you, everyone. Now, I think we all better get back home. Hooray! We're back. My shoes! And my panties! Oh, hello! Hello, everyone. I was getting a tiny bit worried. I think it's all gone very well for the first day. And the good news is... We've found Mrs Fotheringill. Hello! Welcome back, Mrs Fotheringill. I expect you'd like a little rest. Oh, yes, Your Majesty. Thank you. You'll need to get your strength back before you start teaching the playgroup again. Oh. Mrs Fotheringill! <laughs> 
Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Holly's magic wand. Ah, what a lovely morning for a bit of wand practice. But Nanny Plum, I was going to play with Ben. Princess Holly, there's a time for playing with elves and a time for wand practice. Please, Nanny. I promise to practice later. Mm, very well, but come in when I... Thanks, Nanny. Bye. <laughs> Oh, well, I suppose I could do some wand practice while I wait. Now, Wand, what shall we do today? Yes, let's make a pretty hat. Abracazat, a pretty hat. Oh, it's not very pretty. And it's too big. Bye-bye, silly hat. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. I'm practising my magic. Do you want to see? Uh, OK. Stand very still. I'll make you a new hat. Abracazat, magic Ben a hat. Oh. Ben, are you in there? Oh, it's empty. I've turned Ben into a hat. Gosh, what a big hat. Uh, it's Ben. I accidentally turned him into a hat. Princess Holly, that's exactly why you need to practice your magic more. I was practicing, but it all went a bit wrong. I expect you waved your wand all over the place. I tried waving it right, but this wand is no good. Now, now, a good fairy never blames her wand. Yes, Nanny Plum. I have a good mind to leave Ben as a hat, just to teach you a lesson. Please turn Ben back, Nanny. I don't think he likes being a hat. <laughs> oh, very well. Watch and learn. Ding dong den, hat to Ben. What happened? Uh, things went a bit wrong, but Nanny Plum came to the rescue. Thank you, Nanny Plum. You're welcome, Ben. Now, Holly, next time, shake the wand gently. Yes, Nanny. Sorry, Ben. Were you scared? I'm an elf. Elves are never scared. <laughs> Good. In that case, can I try again? Um, maybe later. See you. Bye, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Princess Holly, what have you forgotten? Uh, Your wand. Where is it? Oh, I don't seem to have it. You haven't lost it, have you? Oh, I know. I left it in the meadow. I'm sure I left my wand here. It's gone! <laughs> Hi, Holly! <laughs> Hi, Ben. What's wrong? I've lost my wand. I can't do magic anymore. Maybe that's a good thing. <laughs> it's not funny. I'm never going to find my wand and I'll be sad forever. <laughs> 
Cheer up, Holly. I will find your wand. How? Elves are very good at finding things. And I'm an elf. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. But if I find your wand, you must promise not to turn me into a hat again. I promise. But, Ben, how are you going to find my wand? I've got a simple plan. Oh, goody. <laughs> First, try to remember where you left your wand. In your bedroom, perhaps, or in... There. Oh. That's where I left it. Ah. What's the next bit of your plan? Um, that was the plan. Ah. Oh, I knew I'd never find it. <coughs> Oh, look, it's Gaston the ladybird. Maybe he can help. Hi, Gaston. <coughs> can you help us find Holly's wand? It was here, and now it's not. <coughs> Gaston's good at smelling things. He'll find your wand in no time. Clever, Gaston. <coughs> Oh, why has Gaston stopped? He's looking up into the sky. So that's where your wand has gone. How? Um, can your wand fly? My wand is magic, but I don't think it can fly. Well, it's up there somewhere. If only it could talk to us and tell us where it is. That's easy. It can't talk, but it can make a sort of tinkly sound. Great! Could you call to it? OK. Wand! I wand! <coughs> That's my wand! It's coming from up there! It's a jackdaw! And it's got my wand! Jackdaws like shiny things. It's very high up. And I'm not allowed to fly high. No problem. I'll climb up. Be careful, Ben. Don't worry, Holly. Elves are very good at climbing. And I'm an elf. <coughs> Nice birdie. Can we have our wand back, please? <coughs> you, that was lucky. Wow, Ben. Tricking the jackdaw to open its mouth. I would never have thought of that. Uh, yes. Elves are very good at that sort of thing. <laughs> ah, ah. We should go before the jackdaw works out what to do next. OK. Giddy up, Gaston! Giddy up! Giddy up! Nanny! Ben found my wand. That's very nice. But you really shouldn't have lost it in the first place. Yes, Nanny Plum. Now, Ben, I understand we have you to thank for finding Holly's wand. <laughs> it was nothing, really. I think a reward is in order. I hear you want a new magic hat. Um... Yes, it can be my thank you to Ben. No, please, don't bother. Stay very still, Ben. And Holly, wave the wand gently. Yes, Nanny Plum. Abracazat Magic Ben a hat. Wow, it worked. It's all down to wand control. <laughs> and it's a nice cowboy hat. Ben, thanks for finding my wand. Sorry I didn't believe your plan would work. And I'm sorry I didn't trust your magic hat spell. Oh no, the magic hat has turned Ben blue. How do I look? Um, I think your old hat suits you better. Me too. Abracazobadoo. Ah, oh, it's good to have my old hat back again. And it's nice to have you back, Wand. I will never lose you again. 
<laughs> Today's adventure starts at the little castle. No magic day. Bedtime, Princess Holly. Into your pyjamas. Yes, Nanny Plum. Clothes into pyjamas. Let's just magic you into bed and magically brush your hair. Ah, oh, magic is so nice. What would we do without magic? Elves don't have magic. Elves are crazy. They don't even like talking about magic. Magic, magic, magic. Tomorrow is the day. What happens tomorrow, wise old elf? Once in a blue moon, the fairy's magic stops working. Stops working? Yes, for a whole day. From sunrise to sunset, it will be no magic day. Why? Nobody knows why. Only that when the moon is blue, the magic does not work. Ooh! Fairies without magic! For a whole day! <coughs> Morning time! Pajamas into clothes. Oh, my wand's not working. Daddy! Daddy! My wand isn't working! Neither is mine! Mine isn't either! Wandy, wandy! Oh, the magic stopped! How am I supposed to get dressed without magic? We'll just have to dress the old-fashioned way, using our hands. Our hands? Do calm down, dear. Let's just have some breakfast while we think about what to do. You're right. Nanny Plum, magic up some breakfast. Certainly, Your Majesty. zibbity zabbity zob <sighs> I forgot. My wand doesn't work. What's going on? Why isn't there any magic? Happy No Magic Day. Eh? What? Don't you know? Every blue moon, it's No Magic Day. Oh, of course. <laughs> yes, and I see you're all still in your pyjamas. Had any breakfast? No. <laughs> you see, children, when fairies don't have magic, they can't do anything. Have you just come to laugh at us, wise old elf? Yes. <laughs> I've a good mind to turn you into a frog. Be my guest. Abracadabra. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, children, the fairy wands don't work today. Holly, would you like us to help? Oh, thanks, Ben. We, we can, can all help. help. <laughs> Happy No Magic Day. Bye. Normally, I wave my wand and warm water appears in the bath with lots of lovely bubbles. Have you tried the taps? Taps? Oh, so that's what those things are for. Put your feet in your shoes and your dress without magic. And this is how you brush your hair. <laughs> it's really fun. <laughs> I'm going to do the washing up with our magic. We'll help you, Nanny Plum. Oh, thank you. Elves are good at washing up. And we're elves. <coughs> this is how you turn the television on. And the weather in the Little Kingdom today will be bright and sunny everywhere. Oh, very good. And this works like this. How clever. Happy No Magic Day, Mr. Elf. Um, wise old elf, we're having a bit of a problem at the toy factory. Oh, then I'd better take a look. That's strange. The escalator isn't working. Yes, wise old elf, nothing is working. The whole factory has stopped. But the elf factory never stops. Oh, it stopped. We cannot make any toys. But I don't understand. Why has everything stopped? I think you should take a look at this. The elf engine has broken down. Ah, the elf engine. Of course. What can we do? Um, well, let's not worry about it. Not worry? But there are toys to be made. Oh, never mind. 
We'll just have a day off. A day off? Yes, in honour of no magic day. We can all have a holiday. There's no time for holidays. We have a big order of toys for an important customer. Well, the customer can wait. Uh, you better tell him yourself. Hello? Ho, ho, ho. It's Father Christmas here. Oh, Mr Christmas. Ah, wise old elf. How are the toys coming along? I need them today. Uh, yes, your Christmasness. No problem. How on earth are we going to get the toys made? We'll just fix the elf engine. I'm afraid we can't. Why can't we? Elves can't fix anything. And, and we're, we're elves! <laughs> There is no way that engine is going to work today. Maybe it's just run out of fuel. Yes, it has. So we'll just get some more fuel. What does it run on? Steam or gas? No, the engine is powered by a very dangerous fuel. Nanny Plum! Magic us up some lunch. But I can't, Your Majesty. It's no magic day. Remember? Hmm. Then what are we going to eat? Um, would you like to come to the Great Elf Tree for lunch? That's very kind of you, Ben. We've got lots of food. Really? Then we shall take you up on your kind offer. It's very quiet. Hello? Anybody home? Ben, why isn't the escalator working? Uh, I don't know. Wise old elf, what on earth is happening? Well, nothing. But aren't there toys to be made? Yes, Ben. We've a big order for Father Christmas. But we can't make them. Why not? The elf engine isn't working. We can fix it. Elves are good at... No, no, no. It can't be fixed. The engine has run out of fuel. Oh, and what kind of fuel does it use? I can't say. I demand to know. It's a secret. Wise old elf, what fuel does the elf engine use? Oh, it's... Mud. Mud? No, it's... Mud. Mustard? Ma Marshmallows? Ma ma Melted cheese? M m m magic! <gasps> magic? Are you saying the Great Elf Engine is run on magic? Yes. But you hate magic! Yes. But it has a small carbon footprint and it never stops. Except today. Yes. Because today is no magic day. There must be another way to run the factory. Yes, the emergency power. Of course, the emergency power. But that's just a hamster wheel. It is the emergency power unit. All elves on the hamster wheel will power the factory by foot. Can we help? Good idea, Holly. But, Your Majesty, this is elf work, not fairy work. We're all in it together. You helped us this morning. Now we can help you. All for one and one for all. Yeah, I suppose. Thank you, everyone. Factory is working again! Hooray! Let's hope we get these toys done in time. Yes, the day is nearly over. Ah, the magic is back and the elf engine is working again. Everyone off the hamster wheel! Ah, I'm glad the elf engine is working again. Don't you mean the secret magic engine? Ha! Ah. So now we know. Elves do do magic sometimes. Well, at least we don't need magic to get dressed. <laughs> Let's hear you laugh when I turn you into a frog. Not today, Nanny Plum. It is no magic day, remember? Uh, wise old elf, no magic day is over. Eh? Oh. Abracadabra! Ah, good. 
the magic is back and the factory is working again. And the wise old elf is a frog. Everything is back to normal. Hooray!